Hi there guys, my name is Samuel and today we shall be taking a look at the sets 404 and 114 Monty Molten Super Mushroom which contains 163 pieces and this retails for 000 because basically at this point until the night of white stocks last of course in store only so sorry to me you cannot go to a store but this is basically available in the store if you buy the stars pack only you could literally well you could buy every set and spend like over like three four hundred of how much it is and you wouldn't get it you have to buy the starter kit but if you can get them all i'll be really surprised and um yeah so yeah this is a good set guys and it at the minute it's retailing on like i've been looking on ebay out of curiosity it's like 75 pounds which i think is absolutely insane how much I mean, if you like if you're thinking about getting it do get it while you can because you know it's gonna cost you way more down the line so yeah it technically has two characters i thought he was because it kind of shows him on top of the box but no i googled it's um just a character who kind of just exists in the background so yeah without further ado let's take a look at the minifigures or brick book characters as i call them not did you think and first off we have the super mushroom which if we take him off his podium which that kind of reminds me of the minecraft brick here you can see he is that is a pretty cool character there is his sticker and he kind of just looks like that that's why i put him on a brick because you wouldn't be able to see him has this awesome new piece which is great and you can see it's the same then he has the um the brick which is pretty cool then if you kind of pop that off yeah, I find this really funny, to be quite honest. It's um, definitely funny to see, because just look at that. It's really, it just looks terrible, in my opinion, like that. And then they can see that, but then, you know, you can pop it in. And then it looks great again. So, yeah, that is really cool. I really like that character. And here we have Monty Mole, who I believe is in a number set, being the, um, what was it, the Desert Poking, I believe. Which, yeah, I think he looks pretty awesome. It's kind of annoying with the line down the middle. But I guess maybe that is accurate. Let's press him down. And there you can see the, like, squinting eyes, which is cool. There you can see that. And, yeah, I think he's great. Um, he has these, like, black claws. If they're meant to be, that is he? Oh, yeah, he's a mole, so, yeah, they are his claws. And, um... There's the new feet, which I think look really awesome. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you the interactability of these two. And for the interactability of these two characters, we have this um, the mushroom, and then we have Monty Mole, so turning Mario on. Mario, guys, is not included in this set. He is only coming in the starter course, which is the, like, the one that you really need to buy to get it all. And if you got that, you would get this, which I kind of, this in my head, the, um, the thing that I thought is that people were like, oh, you don't get any of the desert biome. You technically do because you get this as a freebie, which is pretty awesome. So here we get Marrow and what you do. You tap that once, and apparently it gives you extra health, which is really cool when you're in the boss battles and stuff, and... Apparently the characters, like, they can fight back and more. I'm really sure I've only got these two, so I don't know anything about that yet. And then Monty Mole only has one health. So, yeah, I think that's really cool, and they're definitely really cool characters. And then if we jump to this side of the set, and here you can see, guys, I'm not, I won't start for that side. I'll just show you all of it first. So here you can see we have the Monty Mole area. We have the um, statue, which is called, I believe, the look at the box stone eye. There we go. And then we have this little area for the mushroom. So starting off over here, guys, um, I'll show you the interactability in a minute. Here you can see we have this like little area for him to go, which I think is pretty awesome. The camera will focus in. There we go. Then we have got this like little um sandy area because it is in the desert, a little cactus plant maybe, or it is a plant. Then here you can see this area, which is cool. You've got again another like sandy wall for the desert aesthetic of it. Then we have this um activation, which you kind of press it and it comes out. I'll show you that um it has it should be the masonry bricks and yeah you've got some plants and stuff which i think is pretty cool and i did google stone eye it's not a character i originally thought it was but um apparently not all oh, apologies there's so much dust on that side um not sure i've literally just spent like a couple hours dusting my desk the other day so i'm not really sure how that happened that's that was like thursday evening so that's kind of mental that that's how dust it is already but then here you can see from the back so it's not meant to be displayed from the back but it's cool so you press that down and what it does it kind of like hits well it um what it does it's so it go yeah that goes down and then it kind of goes up which is pretty cool. Then here you can see the wall. You've got those parts again, which is pretty cool. And I like the way it's a bit different, the way they've done it. It's, it always seems like the tan piece is never uh, the perfectly smooth of each other. And here you can see that. And then you can see the back wall of the stone eye, which is cool. Then this power block, which I will show you that in a minute. So yeah, there is the actual like build of it. Again, let me quickly show you from this angle. So yeah, it looks pretty awesome. And let me quickly show you the... Um, I'll show you a couple of close-ups of some other things, then we'll actually jump into the actual feature. And taking a look at the power block, guys, here you can see the idea is that it just makes a noise with it. So if you get Mario, 
that's literally what he does so yeah i think that is really cool guys that block and then what we do we get stone eye here you can see he is or it is i don't know it looks pretty awesome i got to admit like this is one of the parts i really like about it um definitely is pretty cool i think that's what i said in my um reaction of well a thoughts video on the set and basically you put him down so he kind of gets some coins, but it's a bit weird because it's not even a character. But then that's what it looks like without him, which I guess if you wanted to, you could kind of like... If you basically strip it all, of all like the characters, that's kind of what it would look like, guys. It, basically, if you took all the interactivity away, that's what it. That's what you'd be left with if you wanted to use it. I think it looks still really good, guys, but definitely. I think this is such an amazing set alone, so you don't really need to customise it, in my opinion. But hey, you might want to use it from some, other, I don't know, other things. Maybe stop motion, Ninjago Desert, I don't know. But yeah, overall, that's really cool. And let's show you the actual features. So here you actually have the desert and the idea is you get Mario. You click POW on the block, then you kind of go here. So you tap that, and then you then... You do that, and then you do get one. So yeah, that is basically what you do, and then you can get a, um, extra health if you want to. But yeah, that is what you do with this set. I think it's really cool. It's quite easy to like activate, guys. And then quickly showing you again, basically, you set it up like this. You can get that if you want. Then you go like POW, then you go like that, and then you just go tap, 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 tap. Apologies, guys. So you meant to only do it one time, but I don't. I don't. I just do it multiple. I don't know why. I kind of. I, I always think that you have to, but you don't. Okay, I have to keep reminding myself that. But yeah, that is the desert. Um, no, sorry, not the desert. Well, yeah, it is a desert. I know they call it desert pokey. No. So there is the. Um, oh, wow, I forgot the name. How can I do this? Monty Malt and Super Mushroom set. So here we have the set, guys. Overall, I think this is an amazing set. To me, this is just such a good set. Like, for a freebie, it's great. I feel bad for anyone who's got to, like, pay 70, 75 pounds because it's insane how expensive it is. But, um, yeah, overall, I think this is such a good set. Or oh, probably just a bit of dust there. But, yeah, I just think this is such a good set. And I'm really glad that I picked up the starter course with this. And I've had so much fun messing around with, like, Mario, this, and, like, the starter course. They are so fun. So, if you guys are thinking about it, I would say... I think you're covered. If you kind of got the Mario Star set and you didn't like it, which I don't even see that happening, literally, it is amazing. I'm not even a Mario fan. I don't. I've never played the game. I've never cared for the games. I've just not been interested in them. But then I'm really enjoying these sets, so it can be a, for anyone. You could easily make your money back with this. Like it's going for seventy seventy five, which is insane. And I'm so thankful I got it. And I live near a shop, Lego store. So thank you guys for watching this video. Remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And um, until tomorrow's video, guys. Bye for now.